How's it going, everyone? Austin Honecker here. I just wanted to come on here for a while and give you all a recap of my day today. Well, as you all know, I have been going through a, a tough time because last week I lost my great-grandfather, J.B. Lackey. As you all know, he was 100 years old, and he passed away in his sleep. We were very close. And we had, we had an amazing grandfather-grandson relationship. Well, yesterday, I, you know, went out and about. You know, me and my best friend, Jonathan Miller, a.k.a. John Fun, went on a road trip to Lexington, Kentucky at the Lexington Comic Convention. You know, me and Jonathan, we had a good time there, and, you know, um... You know, we had, we had a good time there. You know, we walked around. You know, we we were supposed to get there because it started at 10. Because this was the last day of the Comic Con. Because it was from the 24th to the 27th. So yesterday was the last day of the Comic Con. So me and Jonathan, me and John Fun went on the last day. Because the thing is, Jonathan works in the school system and only works he works Monday through Friday and is off Saturday and Sunday. I work at Walmart and I'm off Sunday Monday. So with that being said um so with that yeah so with that being said um um me and Jonathan me and Jonathan went on a road trip to Lexing to Lexington, Kentucky at the Lexington Comic Con. And, you know, it was much needed for sure. You know, we walked around the Comic Con and met some celebrities and everything. And, you know, I, I met AEW superstar Hangman Adam Page. He was really nice. You know, he, I told him I was a big fan of his and he said, "Well, I'm a, I'm a big." He said, "Well, I'm a big fan of yours, because because of your beard and everything. How how um how how long have you?" He asked me how long I've been growing my beard. I said, "Since 2015." He said, "Oh my God!" And you know, we took a picture together and everything. Well, we were supposed to me and my me and John Jonathan were supposed to get have a photo op with Hangman Adam Page. But me and Jonathan were late because it started at 10 and ended at 4. So we got there at almost 11. So me and Jonathan went to the woman that was running Hangman Adam Page's booth. And we asked if, since we already paid for our photo op and we were late for it and missed it, could we get a selfie with it? Could we get a picture with him? And she was fine with that so we ended up getting a picture with hangman adam page and everything and i talked to him about my youtube channel you know that uh i do AEW reviews and everything and he thought that was really cool well after i met hangman adam page i met marty grabstein he's the voice of courage the cowardly dog and that was like a a cart, a, like a scary, uh, like a like a children's scary cartoon, you know everything. But courage, the Ca courage, the cowardly dog was really cool. And Marty Grabstein, the voice of courage, the voice of courage, off courage, the cowardly dog. He was really cool. Like he was funny as hell. He done the courage voice and everything and you know i explained to him about losing my great grandfather jb lackey last week and i told him how how it was how old he was and what happened to him and he said well M marty grabstein said well buddy well 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 sir i will say this he said god bless your great he said god bless your great grandfather he said he lived a long life and and the way he went, that's the way to go. He was very understanding with me. Marty Grabstein was. You know, I got a picture with him and everything. And, you know, got to talk to him and everything. After that, 
after I met Marty Grabstein, I went. I met William Daniels. He's he, he's the one that played Mr. Feeney on Boy Meets World. And Boy Meets World was one of my favorite shows as a kid. So with William Daniels, also known as Mr. Feeney on Boy Meets World, since he he was there, I thought, well, I'd like to meet him. Because he, I, I liked him as, as Mr. Feeney on Boy Meets World. So I went and met him, and just to let you know, William Daniels is 94 years old. He looks at everything, but he's still great in his mind. Because... Uh, when I went to get a picture with him, I offered to shake the man's hand, but he wouldn't shake my hand because, you know, where he's 94 years old and COVID and the flu and all that, he don't want to get that. So we done the elbow instead of the handshake. And I got a picture with him, and then I, and then I said, and I, 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 I said, I told him, I said, I, 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 I said, I said, thank you very much. It was nice meeting you, Feeney. And he said, he said, uh huh. And you know he didn't really talk. William Daniel William Daniels didn't really talk too much. He was kind of quiet. And um, uh, you know after I met William Daniels, um, um, you know me and Jonathan after I met William Daniel after I met William Daniels, well. Uh, Jonathan, he met Hangman Adam Page and Marty Grabstein as well. Like, got a picture with them and everything as well. But the, but William, but William Daniels, he didn't. But after that, you know, after we went to see the celebrities, me and Jonathan went upstairs to the comic, to to where the comic book writers were at. Well, we went up there and everything, and then, you know, uh, later on in the day. Um, uh, we went and, um, um, you, you know, like later on the day after we went and looked at the comics and everything like that, uh, at AEW superstar Adam Cole and AEW women's wrestler Dr. Britt Baker DMD were doing a photo op and, you know, we're already paid for a photo op with Adam Cole and Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. Me and Jonathan went for the photo op. And, you know, we'd we done the photo op with Britt Baker, and Britt Baker was really nice, you know. Uh, you know, she asked me how I was doing and and told me I looked good. And, and you know, um, and then I was going to shake her hand, but she said I, she gave me a fist bump instead. And... Uh, and then we got a picture together, and she told me she liked my beard. We got the photo op together, then after that, we got the, I got a photo op with Adam Cole. So, I got my picture with Adam Cole, and Adam Cole gave me a fist bump and asked me how I was doing and everything, and he, he was really nice to me as well. And uh, so, so, after me and Jonathan got our pictures, with, our photo ops with Adam Cole and Britt, Adam Cole and Britt Baker, um, we went back up to the, um, to the, uh, comic area. But, but now, now before we met Adam Cole and Britt Baker, something happened and we you know with Jonathan, but you know, that's a story for another day, but uh, that's something for him to tell, not me. But I went to the cafeteria, got me a hot dog and a cookie and something to drink and a pop, you know, because I was hungry. So, with that being said, you know, but now after that, you know, like me and Jonathan met back up and everything. Well, after the uh, photo op with Adam Cole and Britt Baker, um, me, and John me and Jonathan went back to the... Um, to the um, comic area, and as we got back up there, I met WWE Hall of Famer Jerry the King Lawler. You know, I talked to him for a little bit and shook his hand and got a picture with him, and I and he he had me hold his crown, and I held his crown, and we got a picture together. And 
he was really cool. Jerry the King Lawler was. And everything. You know, talk to him. He's really nice. After I met Jerry the King Lawler, I, I met... I went I went and met Veronica... I went and met Veronica... Ta I went and met Veronica Taylor. She is the voice of Ash Ketchum and Pokemon. And honestly, I think she was the best one to voice Ash Ketchum and Pokemon. Veronica Taylor was. And, um... And, you know, she was really cool, you know, because I loved Pokemon when I was a kid. And, and you know, she was the best voice for Ash Ketchum. And she was, um... But, you know, she was really nice, and and she even done her Ash Ketchum voice for me. Because I asked her, I asked her, and she done it. And we took a picture together, and she had me hold a Pokeball, and she held a Pokeball, and we got a picture together. And, um, and then we, and she gave me a free autograph, too, you know, with, like, um, you know, and gave me her social media information and everything, too. And we talked about my great grandfather and JB, my great grandfather JB Lackey passing away and everything. And she was very supportive and hugged me and everything. And she, and you know that really meant a lot to me. And she she was a compassionate person, as was Marty Grabstein. But you know what I mean. Like they were both compassionate people, Marty Grabstein and Veronica Taylor. Well. After I met Veronica Taylor, me and Jonathan went back down to where the celebrities are, and I met David Keckner. And so, uh, and David Keckner, uh, he was going back to his booth. I said, "David Keckner," he said, "What's going on, Hoss?" I said, "I said not. M I said just here at this Comic Con. How about yourself?" He said, "Doing all right." And I said, "I, I said." I said, I just want to let you know you did an awesome job as Cooter and Dukes of Hazard and Uncle Earl and Hannah Montana. And he, he just smiled and laughed about it because they were hilarious roles. And um, so I went and met David Keckner and I got a picture with him. And as I got a picture with him, I asked him, who was the character that you played in... Um, in a Talladega Nights, and he said, uh, he said it was he he said he said it's been so long since that since that movie came out, but as far as I remember, as far as I remember, it was it was a a guy in the pit crew named Herschel. I said, yeah, I remember it. I said because I remember that one line you said, "Sweet Lord, Dennett hired a gay Frenchman," and. As soon as I said that line, he laughed his ass off. So David Keckner was really cool. And, you know, after I met David Keckner, you know, I went back up to Hangman Adam Page and we were talking about AEW and, and, and he, he, he and we talked good about, talked about Tony Khan and, you know, this, that, and the third, you know, and we had a good conversation about it. He said he loved working in AEW he loved. He he thought Tony Khan was real. Tony Khan was really cool, and I asked him what his favorite match was, and he said his favorite match was when he teamed with the Dark Order, which are Evil Uno, Stu Grayson, John Silver, and Alex Reynolds against the Elite, which are Kenny Omega, Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson, Doc Gallows, and Carl Anderson in the five on five elimination match, and 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 and. and I asked him what he's and he said he and he said his favorite moment was when he dressed up like that puff marshmallow from a uh, from Ghostbusters in the match with the Elite and the Dark Order and 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 he said that Tony Khan was really great to work for and everything as well and then you know and I went and talked to Britt Baker and I was asking her some questions and I asked her what her favorite match was in AEW and. She said her favorite match was against Thunder Rosa. I asked her what her favorite storyline was, and she was taught she said that was during her injury and where she'd done a lot of goofy stuff in her storyline with Big Swall. And I asked her about Tony Tony Khan, and she said that he was great. And 
I asked her if her and Tony, her and Tony Schiavone were really close and everything, and she said that, that, that they, were, they were close. They were really close friends and everything, and, and I asked her about Tony Khan signing a lot of people in AEW, and I asked her if she thought it was a bad idea, she said, and she said, no, it's not a bad idea because Tony Khan is now running AEW and Ring of Honor. So he has to, so he, he's bringing in as many people as he can. And I, I said, well, I was just wondering because the, I, I, the IWC has been bitching about it. And she said, I don't give a fuck who, if they bitch or not. And, you know, she was just being real. And I was like, I understand that. I said, I just wanted to ask. And, you know, she was really cool. Britt Baker was. So then I went to, went up to Adam Cole and talked to him. And... And I, I asked him, I asked him some questions. I said, I said, I said, what's been your favorite match in AEW? He said, he said, my favorite match had to be against Hangman Adam Page at Revolution for the AEW title. Loved the match, didn't like the outcome of it. I asked him, what, what's his dream match in AEW? And he said, CM Punk. I asked him how, how Tony Khan was to work, was... To work for and he, he said that he was really cool and asked him what he thought of AEW and Ring of Honor AEW and Ring of Honor merging together and he thought it was a great idea I have a, and everything you know but you know they were really cool like I'm glad I got to talk to those three from AEW I really am and you know it was really cool like you know just the uh, uh, everything, you know, meeting Hangman Adam Page, Marty Grabstein, William Daniels, Britt Baker, Adam Cole, Jerry the King Lawler, Veronica Taylor, and David Keckner was awesome. You know, like, I mean, I will say this, they did, some of them did charge hefty prices for everything, but... Hangman Page, Hangman Adam Page, he charged fifty bucks because that was for the fit photo op, but we, but me and Jonathan already paid for it, so we already got our picture with him. Um, Marty Grabstein charged thirty bucks for a picture. Yeah, he and uh, you know, um, William Daniels. He charged sixty bucks for a picture. Um, 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 Adam Cole and Britt Baker they charged fifty bucks for the photo op because uh, where I purchased the photo ops for them. Um. 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 Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Jerry the King Lawler charged forty bucks for pictures. Veronica Taylor charged thirty bucks for pictures, and David Keckner charged forty bucks for pictures. So yeah, I spent a lot of money, but it was well worth it. Because those things only come around once a year and that's when and the celebrities come just once a year with that. So, uh, like I said, it was a great day, you know, after me and Jonathan, um, you know, uh, left the Lexington Comic Con, you know, because Jonathan, like, he got to meet, he met Hangman Adam Page and got a picture with him, he met Britt, ba he met Adam, C Adam Cole and Britt Baker and got a picture with them, he met Marty Grabstein and got a picture with him. And he's met some people, but only met and got pictures with four, a few of them. But I got like pictures with met and got pictures with that about eight of them. But after me and Jonathan left the Lexington Comic Con, me and Jonathan went to the Waffle House to eat. And after that, we went back on the road. And as we got on the road, we stopped in. Well, well, after we got back from the after we got done eating. After we got done, after we got done eating at the Waffle House, 
we stopped at Speedway to get gas. After that, we went back on the road, and uh, the, uh, as we were on the road, we stopped at Clark's Cafe, which is a gas station in Olive Hill, Kentucky, you know, to rest up for a little bit, because neither of us slept too good, so I fell asleep, and he fell asleep, you know, while we were parked at Clark's, and um, after we woke up, we went inside, and had to use the bathroom and all that shit. And then after that, we went back on the road. And and as we, were, we went back on the road, Jonathan, Jonathan took me home. And everything. But yeah, it was a damn good day. And I thank my best friend Jonathan Miller, a.k.a. John Fun, for going with me to the Lexington Comic Con and hanging out with me and everything. Because it was much needed because where I lost my great-grandfather, J.B. Lackey. And, um, and I just, and, you know, like I said, it was a damn good day. You know, met some wrestlers, met some act, act, met some actors and actresses and everything. It was really cool. Um, but yeah, but you know, um, but you know, um, but anyway, I just want to come on here and give y'all a recap of my day, you know, going to the Lexington Comic Con in Lexington, in Lexington, Kentucky with my best friend, Jonathan Miller, AKA John Fun. you know, being able to go, to go meet those wrestlers and celebrities and everything. It was fucking awesome. But anyway, I just wanted to come on here for a while and Give y'all a recap of what I did today. Um, like I said, it was a great day. Much needed for sure. And with that being said, my name is Austin Honaker, and I will catch your ass down the road. Peace. Out.